Ladies and gentlemen, big news in the radio dork world this week. And no, I am not talking about exploding pagers or handheld radios. Nay, I am referring to the FCC's shutting down an actual source of dangerous, spurious RF emissions that was interfering with actual public safety radio frequencies. The licensed and certified ham radio operators have been warning us for years that spurious RF emissions were dangerous, and I must admit that I have mocked them mercilessly every time they brought it up. But my friend, their day has finally come, the day that the licensed and certified ham radio operators have been dreaming about for years. <laughs> Because this week, the FCC's completed completed an investigation and notified one Dimitri Groisman of Farmingham, Massachusetts, that a device in his home was emitting spurious RF emissions that were indeed causing interference to the Massachusetts State Police. According to the document sent by certified Postal mail to Mr. Groisman, and I quote, an agent from the FCC's confirmed by radio direction finding techniques that radio emissions in the 813 to 817 my gigahertz band were emanating from a radio transmitting device located at his condominium in Farmingham. And these transmissions were interfering with the Massachusetts State Police Communications System. The agent determined that the device was an HDTV indoor digital television antenna, and the agent confirmed that the interference stopped when the equipment was unplugged. The mean letter from the FCC's went on to inform Mr. Grossman that he had 10 days to respond to the mean letter, or he may face another mean letter. But my guess is that Mr. Grosselman just unplugged it and went on to Amazon and ordered a new cheap Chinese TV antenna. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all take a moment to bow our heads and appreciate and thank a licensed and certified ham radio operator for their service. 